And uh, here's what Trump supporters are like, folks. They're out there in Huntington Beach protesting the stay-at-home orders. These are the motherfuckers going to get your grandma killed. Look at all these assholes. No social distancing. Just don't give a fuck. And it gets worse. Texas out there protesting. Texas is having a normal one. Texas will not take the mark of the beast. Yeah, these motherfuckers literally think that Bill Gates is some kind of antichrist. And he has instigated COVID-19 so that he can come in with his vaccine, which has like a microchip in it, which is the mark of the beast. And they all refuse to take it, folks. This is the crazy ass shit. Americans are believing. They're literally making signs and walking through the streets claiming this shit. I've had people talk to me about this. Tell me, you're going to take the fucking microchip from Bill Gates? Hell yeah. I'll take it in my dick. Shoot it wherever you want to, motherfuckers. I don't give a shit about your stupid ass mark of the beast. I don't believe in it. It's such a stupid fucking story. Yeah. Hey, there's going to be an antichrist. And uh, he's going to come in and give everybody a, a mark. And if you don't have that mark, you can't buy it or sell shit. But if you take that mark, you can't be forgiven for it. You can burn hell for eternity. And this is part of the infinitely wise God's all-knowing plan. Like, what the fuck? Why would you worship a monster who goes through this kind of pageantcy just to murder everybody and torture them forever? You're stupid. And you should feel bad about it. Look at these fucking pieces of shits, man. They're out there screaming at healthcare workers. These fucking Trump supporters. Look. Let my barber go! Oh my God. How is this not a parody? How are these people real? This like I, I first I thought somebody like was standing in front of a green screen and just making a joke, but this is real. Governor Cooper, let my barber go. I used to teach my kids to respect the police, to respect you guys, to respect first responders. Not anymore, because the only response you have is to your paychecks. They're literally, literally trying to keep you motherfuckers alive. They're just out there protesting because because you don't social distance, you're getting people sick, which makes them come to the hospital, which puts their lives at risk. Healthcare workers have one of the leading percentages of COVID-19 infections because they're around sick people all the time. Isn't that right? Cat agrees with me. Cat knows I'm telling them 100% true. And these people are afraid. Listen to them. Or paychecks. I am afraid of reopening right now. Right, because it's their lives on the line. You're going to get these people killed, dudes. And uh, so in Michigan, <laughs> how is this real, folks? Oh my God. In Michigan, they had protests going on out there, and they'll literally watch anything. These Trump supporters will watch fucking anything. As long as it's a couple of little white girls, they can entertain anybody. <laughs> I don't know, like, it's things like this that sort of make me root for COVID-19. Just a little bit, folks. Just a little bit. I know that's dark, but holy shit, I guess one of them's got an Obama mask, one of them's got a Trump mask, and they're dancing poorly during this protest to some kind of ridiculous government song with this patriot bullshit, American patriot, American patriot rally. We're patriots. No, you're fucking cringe, dude. The biggest fucking cringe in the goddamn world. And then uh, armed protesters, otherwise known as terrorists, stormed the Capitol building and demanded to get in to see the governor. Can you imagine if this was black folks? Let's just be honest here, folks. You want to talk about white, white privilege? Imagine if a bunch of black people, a bunch of Black Lives Matter, stormed the Capitol building with AR-15 strapped to their back, with nine millimeters tucked in their waist. Imagine how fast they would be either killed, arrested, locked up, SWAT would be there. But now, when you're white and you're a Trump supporter, you can literally get away with anything. You can literally go into public buildings with guns and scream to see the governor. Definitely stable human individuals. Look at these people. It's like deliverance. 
got a pretty mouth, boy. And yep, remember the, the Black Panthers used to try to do shit like this, and the FBI literally went into their houses and murdered them in their sleep. True story this happened, folks. The Black Panthers did this at California State House in 1967, and Ronald Reagan couldn't sign a gun control law fast enough. They set them up. These arms motherfuckers out on the courthouse steps. They're stupid-ass flags, and somebody's making fun of them. But this is exactly what it is, folks. It's a, a projection. It's a projection of their shortcomings. It's exactly what it is. Their guns are like phallic symbols to them. And they they're definitely just insecure motherfuckers. So they should just carry around giant dildos. I'd have more respect for you. At least it's more honest than what you're doing. And uh, I agree with David Pakman here. Curious what people think. Would these armed protesters at Michigan State Capitol be treated differently if they were black? Yes. Yes, they would be treated much differently than these crazy people. Look how crazy this shit is. You're a redcoat! You're a redcoat! Rest all these fucking terrorist ass motherfuckers. But of course, our president, the dumbest motherfucker on the earth, is calling for the governor to negotiate with these terrorists. The governor of Michigan should give a little and put out the fire. These are very good people, but they're angry. Yeah, very fine people on both sides. We've heard that before, right? They want their lives back again, safely. See them, talk to them, make a deal. Yeah, make a deal with these people. Make a deal with these armed terrorists who are trying to scare you into giving in and killing people. Very good people on both sides. Look how good they are. Yeah, amazing, aren't they? You should definitely give in to terrorism, folks. No way, if they were black, he'd be saying this. Zero percent chance. Very good people. Look at them. Look how good they are. Tyrant bitch. Look at these fucking assholes. God damn it. So insecure with your fucking gun trying to scare people. Yep. Nuts. He says, well, hell, white mirror. Yeah. Tyrants get the rope. Literally threatening violence. Why don't you negotiate with them, governor? Negotiate with them. Because we don't negotiate with terrorists. Maybe that's what I think. Anyway. This is a great show.